right, so it's now time for us to take a look at some of those troublesome English pronunciations. So let me bring in Willis, the word master, joining me live from Kisumu County. Willis, it's great to see you. I see you looking uh, nice and blue. How are you doing this uh, Friday evening? <laughs> Betty, you're looking cool. You've said, I'm looking nice in blue. And you know what? Uh-huh. It's a night that we say happy birthday to the great cameraman that is Nicholas Mburu. So oh, happy we birthday, can't sing, Mburu. but we just say happy birthday, Mburu. All right, happy birthday, Mburu. <laughs> All right, Willis. So now we get straight into it. And uh, we start with the uh, word on the street. And I'm telling you, Willis, if you don't crack your ribs, I don't know. Let's just uh, take a look at that right now. Masquis. Masquis. Masus. Masus. Masius. 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 Mass use. 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 Mass Right. Interesting, interesting. Kenyans there, Willis. You know, you don't, like you said, you don't judge. We are all learning. So do we say it as messas? Betty, I always say we don't judge the way you've said it. But you know, what really happens sometimes is, you know, certain words in the English vocabulary are not very, you know, common to many people. But this word is also very tricky. You say massage but you can also say masseuse, massage or masseuse as alternative pronunciations of that word, Betty. Uh, wait, Willis, you said massage? No, massage, massage or <laughs> masseuse. Massage. Massage or masseuse, you get it now? I, I, you know, I'm almost there. Massage, right? <laughs> massage, 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 or masseuse. All right, got yes. it, Willis. Massage or masseuse. All right. So, you know, I was also laughing, but um, apparently I was not right in the pronunciation, Willis. But thank you for that, Willis. All right. So as we move along, I'd like uh, to hear uh, how we pronounce this word, incubator. In Cubeta, how do we, where is the stress there? Is there a front low vowel Betty, line? Betty, what you don't say when pronouncing that word is N, the sound N for N. N takes the sound N, just like the Kiswahili word Ngambo or Ngombe. In, <laughs> incubator, incubator, not in Cubeta, in. Incubator, is that right? In incubator. That is it. Yes. Wow. So it's not incubator. No, incubator. Wow. Okay, okay, Willis. I must admit, I've learned there something. In incubator, got it. All right, Willis. Let me spell this next word for you. E u p h e m i s m u f e m Minimism, euphemism, um, is that oh, correct? You are talking about euphemism, <laughs> euphemism. Yeah, that one. is when we talk about some of these words, Betty. Certain <laughs> words are a bit offensive, but if we have the ones which are, you know, friendly to our ears, in fact, we call them euphemisms. So in that case, you, you say you, then femism or mism, euphemism or euphemism. Euphemism, is that correct? 
Yes, that okay. is acceptable, Betty. Okay. okay, okay, Willis got it. Moving on to this other word, I'll spell it out, W-E-I-R-D. Or weird, you say weird. 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 All right, Willis, got it. Moving on to this other yes. word, consultancy or consul consultancy. Do you say consult or consult? That one has a problem, Betty. Uh -huh. Many people talk of consult, consultant, consultancy. You know, that letter U takes what we call the mid-central vowel sound U. Uh. Consult. Mm -hmm to consult, consultant, consultancy. But when we listen to it, in most cases, people think it's sound O, but it's sound a, uh, which is the mid-central sound. To consult, uh -huh. result, insult. Not insult, result, consult. We should avoid that. Okay. But you never know. With languages, we have what we call evolutions. Sometimes, okay. maybe later, you may find it changes. What we call now the sound shift, mm. it may go to O. But so far, consult, consultancy. Okay, Willis. I've also learned that one, consultancy. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, Willis. Yes. So when you're explaining, Willis, you mentioned something to do with the mi mid-central Low vowel something. Mid central. We are talking about the position of the tongue, especially the tip of the tongue. That is when we now talk about phonetics. Uh -huh. Now, the position when you're producing a sound. You see, like when you say cat, cat, cat. paka, C A T, <laughs> yeah. cat. cat. That is the low front sound a. Uh. But when you say C U T, mm. you say cut. Cut. C-U-T, cut. cut. So that is mid-central sound, uh. The other mm. one is, ah. Uh. Ah. Okay, Willis, <laughs> got it. You know, the, your explanations, yes. you know, they sound like uh, they should be made in a lab laboratory or, or laboratory. <laughs> I hope you're aware of what we call language laboratory, what it is, Betty. Laboratory. We mm. have it. Mm-hmm. Laboratory, language laboratory. Okay, laboratory. La, la, or just say lab, <laughs> if, if it's too complicated, Willis. All right, let's move on to the <laughs> next. Yeah, we just say lab, you know. <laughs> Moving on to the but next. But you know what we should avoid? Because uh -huh. I think even somebody has asked a question to that effect. There is somebody, <laughs> I think, from Northeastern, Guyo Jirmo Bidu, mm. laboratory. We don't mm. have laboratory. <laughs> Many people say laboratory, which yeah. is nowhere. Uh -huh. Just like those who say integration, but we have integration, not integration. There's nothing like integration, Betty. Nothing like laboratory. So some of these things, if we can check, mm. we'll realize that we commonly make mistakes without knowing. Integration. Integration and not integration. Integration, not integration. No. No. Integration. Hey, Willis. Moving on to this other word. Do we say omniscient, omniscient, omniscient? How do we pronounce this one? Omniscient. That when Om you say scient. Scient. Omniscient. 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 All-knowing. Okay. Omniscient. Omniscient. Okay, got it. Willis, let's move on to this other word. Do yes. we say tapestry, tapestry? Um, how do we go about that one? You say tapestry. Okay. Tapestry, tapestry not tapestry. Uh -huh. Yes. Tapestry. Got it, Willis. Let's now move yes. on to our feedback question. It comes from Lily James. She's asking about this word C H A P E R O N. Oh, that is, we have the digraph C H taking sound sh, not ch, and not you say chaperon, chaperon. a chaperon, not a, a chaperon, not a caperon. So <laughs> Lily James and our viewers, that is what you say. Mary Ngaruya, you say itinerary, not itinerary, mm. itinerary. Stanley itinerary. Msake of Kangemi, Nairobi, you say, yes, itinerary. Okay. But Stanley has xenophobic, not xenophobic or xenophobic, <laughs> Z xenophobic. 
Blessing hadasa akinyi kowo, you say grandmother, grandmother, and you say Margaret, Margaret. So that is it. Wait, Jeffrey goodness. Mwangi, Betty, by the way, we always say Geoffrey or Geoffrey. I think you've heard people pronouncing a name like so. Yes. Geoffrey, Geoffrey. Uh -huh. That name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey, okay. not Geoffrey, not Geoffrey. Mm -hmm. So, Jeffrey Mwangi, for your word, you say chew. To chew sugarcane, mm. not to chew. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. KJ Kemboi and Eric Ochola, you say warthog. Warthog, not warthog. Warthog is very common locally, but that is an inaccurate, <laughs> inaccurate pronunciation, Betty. Really, someone you is say saying water hog. hog. Mukera, mukera? Mm. Water hog. <laughs> Betty, I mean, that it's one not, it's not me, it's just evening. somebody, <laughs> my director. Water role. hog? No, <laughs> water hog. What, hog. Hog. what we should avoid is water hog. Water hog, no. Mukera, mukera, thesaurus. 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 Wakili Rogers, Abisai of Migori, thank you for liking the segment and pronunciations are just that way. They help in clear or effective communication. Amina Bakari, mm -hmm. you say conscience, not conscience, conscience. Amina Bakari, Fred Omondi, you say August, August. August. That is for the month. But when we are talking about, or when you are saying August house, you realize you say gust with a stress, August house, mm -hmm. but the month of August. Okay. Regina Nyaboke, you say vilest and abysmal. Abysmal and vilest. Wow. We can now go over to our surprise word for tonight. Yes. How do we say it? Many people say grotesque, grotesque, grotesque and all that. <laughs> grotesque, no. no. Grotesque, no. You say grotesque. That is something that is uh, ugly, your, we would call it extremely ugly or very unpleasant, you're unpleasant to see. You say grotesque, grotesque, grotesque not grotesque, <laughs> not grotesque. grotesque. That one you should avoid. <laughs> and now we go to the confusing words. Okay. Betty, when we talk of a bank robbery, mm. many people say the haste, haste, no, that is H-E-I-S-T. The lower word, you say heist, heist. Ah. A bank robbery, heist, heist. not haste. Hi. But the upper word is haste, that is haste. hurry, Hi. haste, to do Hi. something in haste. Okay. But I robbery, heist. Heist. Betty. Willis, you said something. Let English. Be English. <laughs> let English be English. So as we let English be English, <laughs> Willis, you said something that I have to ask you about. Yes. You said uh, grandmother, not grandmother. Is that what you said? Did I hear yes. correctly? No. Betty, we don't say grandmother. You say grandmother. Oh, you are talking about uh, the question from Blessing Hadassah Kinyi Kowo. Yeah. You say grandfather, grandmother, granddaughter, grandson. That D is not articulated when you are pronouncing those words. So wow. it's just like saying bomb. You don't say bomb. Bombing, no. <laughs> bomb, bombing, bombers. Okay. Plum, plumber, plumbing. Not plumb, plumber, plumbing. So we have to know some of these aspects of what we call now the English phonology. Any other question, Betty? Anything hey, English? At this point, Willis, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I think I've ha I have enough for the weekend and for the week. <laughs> Do you say weekend or cool, weekend? Betty. That is great. <laughs> Maybe that's the last one. Weekend. 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 You say weekend. Weekend. Yes. But if you say weekend, you know, there is what we call the nuances of pronunciations. You know, those small aspects or small errors, you don't be so much concerned about them sometimes, Betty. All right. But getting the sounds right is better than using what you call swag.
<laughs> but Betty, that word swag has a different <laughs> meaning. <laughs> oh, really? I thought it's just, you know, to sound or look yes. cool. You have some swag. No, you know, swag refers to stolen goods. The word swag yeah. is an English word. Just like the word twang is locally called twang. We have the word twang, T-W-A-N-G, a twang, to speak with a twang. twang. But locally we say twang. <laughs> yes. I, will forget, I get you. <laughs> Betty, but that the, is enough. I but, think it's enough for tonight. But wait, but the swag, there's the urban version of it, which means, you yes. know, to, to have some cool <laughs> ass, some, you know, some style, you know. <laughs> Betty, will... you know, I can give you, when it comes to language, in Kiswahili, you have heard of Nimesota. Nimesota. In the urban, you know, uh, setup. Yes, Nimesota. Nimesota. It's Sheng. Jaribu umulize mtu ambaya nailewa kiswa hili kwa undani, maana ya neno, sota, kitenzi, sota. That verb. Ya manisha nini? That is, you know, when somebody is crippling, going on, you know, uh, the, the, the knees and hands. Like, you know, uh, when somebody is a cripple or somebody like is crawling. moving, una sota. Una but sota. you should get it from the right persons, the likes <laughs> of Alimanzu. Zubeda Kome pale. Hiya, thank you so much. Ali Hassan, <laughs> okay. they can help you. Thank you so much, Willis. I've learned so much tonight. Um, I think my biggest lesson really yes. was uh, massage. Massage. <laughs> massage or masseuse. But tell them they can also get me on Twitter. True, at true. At Willis Ocheng1. One. All right. Thank you so much, Willis, the word master. Always a charm. Having you, you here. <laughs> My camera just checked in. Having you here on the show here on Friday Briefing. We'll see you again tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but next Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday, Willis. And uh, if you want to ask him any more questions, you can always get him uh, on his Twitter handle at WillisTheCheng1. Thank you so much, Willis. He's been joining us from uh, Kisumu County. All right? That has been Mind Your Language.